If you're ever in Panama, check out this building, the FF Tower or the Screw Building. Yeah, Screw Building. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, today we are visiting the Bio Museo here on the uh, Amador Causeway. So this is the uh, long stretch that leads towards the uh, three or four islands, uh, Isla Perico being one of them that I visited. So this is a very interesting building as you can see from the outside. I don't know what to expect on the inside. Um, $18 admission, so I'm gonna go check it out since we're here in Panama City. Let's go. Okay, so I thought the uh, trees over at the Panama Viejo were very nice, but this one at the uh, Bio Museo, uh, wow, this is incredible. This is must be a very old tree. Uh, I'm gonna get some more information about it. There is signage over there. I can figure out what it is, so yeah. Rubber fig tree. Wow, incredible. So, rubber fig trees that grow these vines that look like tree trunks, but they're not tree trunks. They're actually vines that extend from the branches. There's a branch right there, and it extends all the way, and it goes into the ground. You think all these were tree trunks on their own, but they're actually extensions from the branches coming out of this one rubber fig tree. And then the leaves themselves are quite, yeah, they're quite dense, very thick leaves. Remarkable. So oh, here's a nice spot for viewing the uh, Bridge of Americas. As you can see, the Panama Canal basically ends here and uh, cargo ships and cruise ships, whatever other ships, they come underneath the bridge at this point and then they exit out towards the Pacific in the west direction over here. So yeah, very nice structure. The Bridge of Americas. Um, I guess when America controlled the Panama Canal, that's what they named it, so, but, uh, yeah, right there. Very nice piece of history. So I am back at the uh, Mercado Moriscos, but not to buy fish, 
no, uh, I can smell the fish, but no, actually, uh, along this walkway here, there's supposed to be a uh, Panama sign, and so that will be my second Panama sign if I can find it. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt, and for those who know me, I do like my city signs and doing all that touristy stuff, so I'm on the hunt for the Panama sign is what I'm looking for. Um, it's a bit of ways, it's I think a kilometer or a kilometer and a half, and that building over there is the one that uh, I see from my hotel room. And then there's the uh, flag of Panama just on top of that hill. We're gonna go check that out later. I really want to see that. Um, looks like it's a really good vantage point for photos and stuff. But yeah, look at this. This is cool. So fish market, fish boats, everything all around us. So I made my way to the uh, fabulous Panama sign right here. You can see that. Um, Got my uh, photo with it, got Doug in the photo too, so he's quite happy, but Panama, look at that. So that's my second Panama sign. Um, yeah, gonna continue walking along this way just because uh, it's such a nice, lovely afternoon. Um, the clouds have come in, so it's not as hot. And also there's a Vietnamese restaurant down this way, so I'm gonna get my faux fix or pho. Bo, bo. Anyways, check you later. These are such cool trees. I think they're the fig trees. I don't know, but the uh, the branches actually grow into the ground. It's strange. But yeah, they're very cool. I like them. They don't grow in Canada, so that's why I've never seen them before. Okay, I did something stupid. Um, I had to walk all the way back two kilometers. The reason why is when I was at this spot, I was taking pictures and I left my walking stick here. So I feel bad for leaving my walking stick. Today is not the day I'm gonna lose it. So, yeah, I don't know. Someone must have picked it up or it just fell off the post because, um, yeah, I had it leaning against the post. And yeah, I was over here uh, taking pictures Look at that skyline, you just, when you see that, you just have to take a picture, right? And then I forgot my stick, so I had to take an extra, I don't know, 20 minutes to get over here, about one and a half kilometers, but hey, got some exercise, got my stick, and we will trek back over to that Vietnamese restaurant. Well, we finally made it. Uh, after two kilometer, three kilometer walk, we are here, uh, Sapor Viet, Viet Vietnam. Vietnamese food, main point. I'm gonna get my noodles on. Uh, never been here, so I don't know how it is, but I'll give my recommendations after uh, having a taste test. And then uh, we're also gonna wait for Khalil, who's from uh, the Sea Turtle Project from last. Uh, he's staying over at a hostel about two kilometers away from here, so he's gonna join us as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go for drinks. So, let's get some food. Right, so here's my order. I got my pho and I got some rolls. Normally I don't get these uh, shrimp rolls, but I'm extra hungry for all the calories, for all the walking. I think I did six kilometers, I'm not sure, but anyways, I'm super hungry, so there's my food. Yum, bon appetit. Holy crap. so I was taking a whiz in the men's washroom here, and <laughs> this whole wall is a mirror. So it looked like some other dude that looks like me was taking a piss in the toilet. See, look at this, it's crazy. 
Now who does that in a wash? Really? Start off with Khalil. Say hi, Khalil. Hey. Yeah. This guy here, sea turtle volunteer, worked over at last, helped us dig out the hatchery, fill it up, uh, did our you know nightly patrols. Awesome guy. Yeah, crazy. So now we're headed over to the uh, the screw building, is what it's uh, known as. It's actually called the F and F Tower. It's just an office tower. I don't think it's open right now. Can't really go up to visit, but it is such an interesting building. I didn't know about it until I got to Panama. So I forgot to mention the uh, the food at the uh, Sabor Viet restaurant. It was okay. The price was uh, cheaper than the one in San Jose, but it came in smaller portions. And like I said, I'm glad I ordered the uh, uh, rolls and then uh, got some extra rolls here for Kilio because he's such a hardworking guy. Hey. Um, yeah, so I had extra rolls. But otherwise, price-wise, food tastes great. Uh, each place, you know, has a different flavor. Otherwise, I didn't mind it. I would recommend it if you're in this area. There aren't too many Vietnamese restaurants listed on Google. So if you're in the area, hit that one up for sure. All right, so here we are at the FF Tower. You can see it spirals. It's very interesting. I don't know the background of it. I didn't do my research. I don't know who the architect firm was, but I'm gonna do that, look it up. Look at that, that's cool. Um, wish I could go up there. It's not the tallest tower here, but I'd probably say about 50 stories at least. But definitely an interesting shape. So yeah, if you're ever in Panama, check out this building, the FF Tower or the Screw Building. Yeah, Screw Building. So I got to say goodbye to uh, my boy Khalil back there. He's going that way to his hostel. He works there on a volunteer basis or like a work away program. Save money, get room, you know, board. Um, you know what, I forgot my stick again, my precious walking stick back at the restaurant. I got so distracted from the food. So I'm actually gonna walk all the way back there. There's the, uh, the uh, FF Tower really cool screw building so we're gonna go back to the Vietnamese restaurant but not for food because I'm actually full yeah we're gonna go back for my precious stick and then tomorrow we're gonna hit up uh, Ancon Hill the uh, flag that's where we're going tomorrow okay and that's where I think I'm gonna leave my stick to lie on that hill Oh my god, there's a Hooters restaurant here. Why didn't we go for Hooters instead of Vietnamese food? Oh, look at what we have here. Yes, I got my walking stick back. No one took it. I'm never going to leave you again. Look at this. See? I got my walking stick back. <laughs> 